I often get asked by foreigners, can I wear a thobe too? I'll answer that question right now. Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatar here, and I know the Qatari thobe is so elegant. Our thobe is the equivalent of an Italian suit. Look at those clean lines. Look at it. You want one? You can have one. Yeah, I like that very much. So of course the answer is yes, you can wear a thobe. The thobe doesn't belong to me, doesn't belong to Tim, doesn't belong to a specific people belongs to all of us. And of course, if you're from another part of the world and you want to try on a thobe, that would be pretty cool. Just like when I travel to other countries, I like to dress up in their national wear too. I think it'll be pretty cool if you guys try on a thobe. Try this for size. But let me just tell you real quick, okay? If you put on a thobe, you will feel how comfortable it is. You will feel like you are just gliding and you'll never want to wear anything else. Just giving you a warning. So I remember reading a comment where someone said that they tried on a thobe and they felt like a lot of people were looking at them. Don't be so self-conscious or be a little bit self-conscious because maybe they were looking at you because you looked so damn fine. They were like, whoa, that dude, he's awesome. He's fly for a white thobe guy. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. If you are going ahead and putting on a thobe, people might take a look at you and be like, oh, that's pretty cool. If they're smiling, that's because they're happy. I know that I really appreciate the fact that expats, foreigners, when they come over here, they try to put on the thobe, means that they're embracing our culture. That deserves a like. I like it a lot. Now, let me tell you when you should be wearing it if you want to try it for the first time and when you shouldn't be wearing it. So National Day is a good day to put on the thobe, especially if you're feeling a little bit self-conscious. And uh, that's because that's the day that everybody's saying, I love you, Qatar. I love you. Let me try to put on that thobe. I'll give it a try. When you shouldn't be wearing it, though, is Halloween. Oh, it's not a costume. It's a way of life. Because when you go and put on a thobe on Halloween, it's kind of like you're trivializing or putting it on for racist reasons. It's incredibly racist. It's super racist. Although on Halloween, if you wanted to, you could uh, put on a thobe uh, with one of these uh, cool caps and dress up as Mr. Q. Well, oh, that's, that's disturbing. There you go. I gave you a get out of jail free card. You're welcome. Now, if you're interested in picking up a thobe, of course you can go and get one of those ready-made thobes where I recommend that you watch the episode of all the things that you need to complete the ensemble, but it's best to get one tailored. When it's tailored, just looks much, much better. Everything looks better, feels better. Now to help you guys out, in the description down below, we've got a link that shows you different places that you can go to to get a thobe tailored. Ricardo recommended a tailor. Oh, by the way, here's a picture of my bro Super Saf when he came to visit and he picked up a thobe all in black because he likes uh, matte black everything. So. Take a look at that. Sheikh Saf over here. Go see the Sheikh. All right, everyone. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Q-Tips. If you did, please don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to share. And you see that uh, handsome looking bell in the thobe? Give him a little click. Click it. Masterman. <laughs>